हेलो गाइस टुडेज प्रोग्राम इज अबाउट जावा बैंक अकाउंट्स एप्लीकेशन द एप्लीकेशन विल डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट इज आर रिलेशनशिप इनहेरिटेंस एंड पोलीमोफिजम प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल कोडिंग हेल्पलाइन टू प्रमोट इट by sharing and subscribing to the channel let's begin java inheritance is our relationship is our relationship indicates that a class is a subclass of another class is our relationship promotes code reuse that is basic advantage of object oriented programming for example a person is a base class a student is a sub class now the student is also a person polymorphism provides another advantage where child classes can override the base class methods and provide their own functionality this is this application is going to be a menu driven account application we will implement a base class account that is abstract this will encapsulates fields like balance and account number a checking uh, checking account subclass that will have a transaction fee a savings account class and other subclass of the account class that will apply or provide interest on a certain rate driver class provides menu driven user interaction user can select an account deposit and withdraw funds and can also apply interest rate on the savings account each transaction of a checking account will have a transaction fee and we will implement deposit and withdraw functions as a polymorphic functions let's start coding create files account.java checking account savings account and tester driver class let's say account driver we start with the account as a base class base class abstract public class account we add a simple two attributes account number private int account number and the balance private double balance default constructor public account and do nothing they will initialize to defaults automatically public account parameter constructor int account number this dot account number is equal to account number and balance is equal to 0 now simply getter methods let's make this class abstract public double get balance return this dot balance we are not going to implement set balance method 
because a bank account cannot have a set balance account. It, it can only increase or decrease its balance using deposit and withdraw methods. This is a basic contract of a bank account. Public int get account number. Return this start account number. And there is no need for the set account number methods because bank's account number does not change. Now the abstract methods. Public void deposit double amount. This is an abstract method. We don't need its body here. Abstract method. Function to deposit funds into the account as long as the amount parameter is greater than zero. Apply transaction fee for the checking account and no fee for the savings account. Amount is value to be deposited. Public abstract wide withdraw double amount function to withdraw funds from the account as long as two conditions are met number one amount to withdraw must be greater than zero and number two amount to withdraw must be less than equal to balance so no overdraft is allowed amount value to be withdrawn now over base class is complete we copy these two abstract functions to be implemented into over subclasses child class checking account extends the account class and implement the functions oh, abstract functions we need to provide the body have to remove the abstract keyword same thing we will do with the withdraw function provide body okay checking account and added feature is transaction fee that is a constant private static final int or say double fee let's say 2.5 this will be deducted from every transaction made on this account. Constructors, default constructor, public checking account and call the base class function. Base class constructor, public checking int account number and we can also set the fee here if we want to alter it that is the default default transaction fee double fee we can add it or change or modify the constant value within the constructor parameter constructor to 
initialize checking account with a custom account number and a custom transaction fee and default constructor will create checking account with the default fee okay now this dot account number is equal to sorry we need to call the super constructor account number pass the account number to the base class and fee is equal to fee is this an error let's change it remove the final keyword okay now we are good now we implement the deposit function first check amount if amount is greater than zero okay else notify the user system data dot print ln a negative amount cannot be deposited now amount is positive so we will add sec sorry we need to make balance protective so that we can edit them within the child class balance is equal to amount apply transaction fee balance subtract from the balance balance is equal to fee let's notify system dot out dot print ln Mm, let's say mm, pretty printing balance updated percentage to f two decimal place percentage n amount deposited Okay, this function is complete now. Let's do the withdrawal function. Same check. If amount is greater than zero, else system dot out dot print ln negative amount cannot be withdrawn. check sufficient balance if amount is less than equal to balance and 
ट्रांसक्शन फी अमाउंट प्लस फी वो नीड टू कंसिडर दिस इज अ चेकिंग अकाउंट एंड आ फी इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर विदड्रॉल एंड डिपॉजिट सब्ट्रैक्ट subtract the amount from the balance and subtract fee from the balance notify the user amount of percentage point 2 of withdrawn from account amount and copy the same message fee of applied and updated balance Current balance is and balance. Now this class is complete. We can copy the same methods to save time and paste into. So we can also copy the all these things. will save lot of typing we we'll go into savings account savings account child class has an interest rate a method to apply interest that is the profit to be earned by the account new feature is interest rate private double interest rate okay now we can paste all these things and edit these codes format savings account now we we have here is parameter constructor of savings account with the custom account number and interest rate double interest rate extends account class this dot interest rate is equal to interest rate now i we will add these functions short shortly and let's add the getter getter function public double get interest rate return this dot interest rate public double set public void set interest rate return this dot sorry parameter double interest rate this dot interest rate is equal to interest rate now another function public double calc interest how much this account has earned based on the interest rate return balance multiply by interest rate the rest of the thing they apply public void apply interest 
deposit calc interest the rest of the things will be done by the deposit function okay deposit let's do some output to notify double interest earned system dot out dot print f interest amount added to balance interest in the rest now this function we only need to remove we need to remove the fee application there is no fee application in this from this account similarly we will remove the check for the fee amount added amount that's it and remove the fee our function is done now we will write the driver class savings driver account driver okay we will use scanner class to interact with the keyboard import java.util.scanner main method public static void main entry point of program scanner object scanner keyboard is equal to new scanner system dot in now we create an array of accounts let's say 10 accounts account account new accounts let's say 10 we have 10 accounts we let the user create accounts and manipulate many manipulate deposit and withdraw functions let's write a menu function int menu scanner keyboard system dot out dot print ln one two three four five bank account menu number one create new account number two deposit funds number three withdraw funds and number four quit i think this is enough now int choice do we use the do loop do while loop so that we can only read a valid range of choices choice is less than one our choice is greater than four keep asking system dot out dot print enter choice choice is equal to keyboard dot next int read and int return it our function is complete menu to display options and get the user's selection let's say choice another function public account create account and scanner as keyboard 
function to create a new account account menu public int let's make them static this will be easier static account menu account choice system dot out dot print ln select account type scanner keyboard at param keyboard return choice this is a sub menu function number 1 checking account number 2 savings account and same do while loop while choice is less than 1 or choice is greater than 2 system dot out dot print enter choice choice is equal to keyboard or next int return choice okay now create function show the menu int choice is equal to account menu now if choice is equal to one checking account else choice this is savings account account is equal to null return account now ask the user to enter account number let's int account number system dot out dot print account number is equal to dot next state and fee system dot out dot print enter transaction fee and create account account is equal to new checking account account number and fee here we need to ask for interest rate print please enter interest rate double ir is equal to keyboard or next double create account new savings account account number and ir this function is done now deposit public void do deposit account accounts 
int count let's say function to perform deposit on a selected account get the account number int account number is equal to keyboard scanner keyboard next int system dot out dot print please enter account number now search for the account let's say we have a function int index is equal to search account accounts and account number let's write this function public int search account accounts array count int count and int account number we will return the index of account that matches the account number if accounts i dot get account number is equal to account number return index okay now we have this ready accounts count and account number now amount system dot out dot print please enter deposit amount double amount is equal to keyboard dot next double and perform the accounts index dot deposit make a check here if index is greater than equal to zero notify if account is not found no account exist with account number account number okay we can copy same function and create a deposit sorry withdrawal why do withdraw accounts and count and scanner keyboard okay okay account number same search the account if account is found the index is greater than equal to zero enter withdrawal amount withdraw amount now amount is received from the user perform withdraw withdraw that's it this function is also complete now public void apply interest account accounts 
काउंट स्कैनर कीबोर्ड सेम डाटा सेम कोड अवॉइड द री टाइपिंग अकाउंट फाइंड सर्च इफ अकाउंट फाउंड वी अप्लाई द इंटरेस्ट रेट अप्लाई इंटरेस्ट देर इज नो अमाउंट इन वन मिनट वी ओनली नीड द अकाउंट नंबर डॉट Set interest, calc interest, apply interest. Okay, we need to cast it. Okay, we have to consider two things. Number one, must be instance of savings account. If accounts index instance of savings account okay now we cast it over savings account now we have the apply interest function available to it now our all the driver code is ready let's integrate it into our working application okay choice main loop while choice is not equal to let's say i think 4 yes withdraw funds checking account and apply add another one number 4 and 5 apply interest and this is above 4 5 okay read the choice menu and keyboard print new line to make a space on the console if choice is equal to 1 okay int num accounts zero okay choice one is create account accounts num account plus plus is equal to create account and keyboard this will create our account else if choice is equal to 2 2 is deposit do deposit static functions now do deposit takes account array number of accounts and keyboard else if choice is equal to 3 do withdraw hmm 
num accounts okay now apply interest okay we are done now num accounts else system dot out dot print ln goodbye and let's test the application if some bug appears we will fix that view terminal java c and java compilation is done java and account driver okay this is our menu menu is create new account deposit funds and withdraw funds and apply interest and quit quit is five now we create a an account okay this is sub menu checking account saving account okay let's create a checking account account number let's say one okay transaction fee let's say mm, 3.75 okay our account is created now we will deposit funds let's say deposit account number one deposit is equal to 5000 let's say okay see this account created previously with account number one amount deposited 5000 message 5000 deposited fee applied and fees deducted from the balance now let's do a withdrawal number two sorry three withdrawal account number one and uh, let's say we are withdrawn 1000 okay amount of 1000 withdrawn from the account fee applied and the current balance let's create a savings account okay number two saving account and account number two and interest rate interest rate let's say six percent zero point zero six okay now we deposit funds number two let's say account number two ten thousand okay amount ten thousand deposited current balance is ten thousand because there is no transaction fee for the savings account let's make a withdrawal from here three is withdrawal account number two and withdrawal of two thousand okay amount of 2000 has been withdrawn from the account the current balance is 8000 let's apply interest number four account number two okay interest amount of 480 added to the balance amount deposited and the current balance is 84 80 this is all guys this application demonstrated is the relationship inheritance and polymorphism please subscribe to the channel to promote it share the videos if you have suggestions please send me a message thank you see you guys with the next video